kind of hate this camera setup, but I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? No. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anime if you're new and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my recent favourites. My camera's not in focus, I'm going to take a step forward. I'm standing up. Uh, I don't have anything to put my camera on. So it's on a shelf. Um, because I'm here in New York City, I'm interning here for almost six months at the United Nations. I have other videos on that. I'll link them in the cards um, or they're just on my channel anyways. But today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my recent favourites. Uh, I love favourites videos because I feel like it just kind of introduces you to all different products and, you know, makeup or fashion things that you didn't know about or you weren't sure about. So most of these things have appeared on my Instagram before now, so definitely follow me on Instagram at anime.yt. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it. So actually, not on the stuff I was going to share, but this t-shirt uh, I'm obsessed. I'd always wanted one of these like Lily monogram t-shirts because I'm a basic P. But um, yeah, I love all preppy style things, which you'll see here. Um, that's mostly my fashion stuff is to do with more so preppy style. Um, but yeah, I, I'm obsessed with this t-shirt. Um, I think it was Jen Merritt Designs is the Etsy shop, but I have them linked on my Instagram. So check it out there. So I just have one makeup product. I don't have that many things to share today, but uh, one makeup product, it is from Colourpop and it is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Champagne Mami. And this is like a, I think it's one of their best sellers, but I had, I didn't know this. I just saw it in Ulta because they sell a small selection of Colourpop in the Ulta near me. And I picked it up and I'm obsessed with it. I wear it all the time. It's so comfortable, it looks so good. Such a great color for like all seasons. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed and super cheap. So I also just ordered a bunch of stuff on Colourpop last night. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned for a Colourpop haul and try on and first impressions. The other kind of makeup thing I have is a new nail polish, which I'm actually wearing today. It's from Zoya. Uh, I always have my nails painted, like always. Uh, the only times I would have had them like bare were ballet exams and dance competitions when I was growing up so yeah I always paint my nails but I try and keep it well I don't try I usually keep it more pink but I got into like a rabbit hole of nail polish YouTube a couple like a week or so ago I was like oh I need to buy more nail polish because I usually only keep maybe three or four on the go at any time because I feel like they go off and they go goopy and whatever but I picked up this one from Zoya um at Ulta the other day like really recently I've had that lip gloss for a while but this is only a couple of days and I really really like it this was one of the brands recommended by someone she was saying it was one of her favorite brands and I really I wanted a shimmer I was just watching all these videos and I was like damn I want a shimmery nail polish so I picked up this lavender one for this spring and summer and I think it's really really pretty and the formula is good like two coats and it's opaque so thumbs up for that so again if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this already but one of my favorites for sure recently is my Lily swimsuit. Um, I got this in the after party sale in January and I'm obsessed with this. It is so, so pretty. But the only thing is I also have to be obsessed with it because um, I burned my chest. I was just an idiot. I really, really badly burned myself because I was an idiot. I didn't think we'd be outside for so long. I didn't put on, enough, put on enough sunscreen, especially I didn't put any on one shoulder for some bizarre reason. Um, my arm is like still sunburned over a week later, but I sunburned the lattice pattern onto my chest. So from here to about here, I have a lattice pattern, which is not the best. So I'll be wearing this a lot this summer, uh, cause I have to, but it's a good thing. I really love it. The quality of this swimwear is like, top notch like it really really is it is honestly i think worth the money because it's both lily and a super high quality swimsuit like it doesn't budge it's not too high coverage the back like it has a butt you know it's not like super cheeky but it's also like not you know encasing your butt cheeks so it looks like a diaper um it's not like that at all but it also like doesn't move i'm someone with a really big butt so like 
my butt needs swimsuits, but not this one. It stays put. The straps are perfect. They're adjustable. Just 10 out of 10. I did get a four in this. Yeah, but in Lily skirts and shorts, I'd be an eight. And in a lot of dresses, I'd be an eight too. So keep that in mind. I think it just kind of depends on your shape. Also, this makes your boobs look really, really good. <laughs> Something else you may have seen advertised a lot. I don't know if it's just coming at me because of cookies. They know that I like view the stuff. Um, but Erin Condren just launched a new life planner. Uh, this is my old one, but um, you that's how you may have heard of it. I'm just saying I've been using Erin Condren for 18 months now, I'd say. Um, but I have gotten really back into planning. I was just not... I was in kind of a planning rut, to be honest, um, but like, my planners are going so cute now. I'm probably going to switch to an hourly. Um, I'm going to leave my affiliate link down below because anyone can get like affiliate links. Um, and that'll get, if you haven't ordered one before and you're interested in it, it gets you $10 off, which is really, really good. And I get like points for it, but I am obsessed with my planner. I always have been, but I was just in like a planning rut. I hadn't bought stickers as well for like seven months, but I bought some like two days ago. So back really obsessed with my planner happy out so the last thing that i've been obsessed with recently is my new barrington ah and it's monogrammed in pink and navy uh i'm obsessed with this the size is perfect i brought this recently when i went to florida and my parents were there so i was visiting my parents um it matches my luggage which i don't think i posted any photos of well, maybe insert one here uh it I didn't intend on that but it's really funny and it also matches my mom also got one and it matches her luggage so we're looking very snazzy I have the larger like the classic size tote but I don't know if you can tell by my standing here I'm not a very big person so it's a giant effing tote for someone to carry around every day so I used it for college if I needed to bring my laptop or notebooks and when I'm hauling stuff it's amazing but for like a little a little bag, a little, you know, like a little purse. This is, this is where it's at. I think this is the Saint Anne zippered tote. I got the zippered one because I don't want to be pickpocketed, especially when I travel. So that's why I got the zippered one. So the actual last thing that I just decided to give an honorable mention is Diva Curl. I started, I'm not having the best of hair days today, but I started using Diva Curl maybe two weeks ago um and safe to say I'm obsessed it is if you don't know what it is it's like a hair care program for curly or wavy hair they have kind of different ranges I obviously have wavy hair I'll, I'll insert some pictures of what my hair looks like when it's like real curly or real wavy I say curly because there are curls but overall it is yes wavy um but Diva Curl is expensive and I had wanted to try it for so long but I couldn't because I was in Europe and they didn't have like legit distributors and shipping would have been expensive and whatever. So I was like, you know what, treat yourself. And I'm so glad I did because I'm obsessed. It is so great that every day can be a good hair day, especially when you have wavy hair because it can be so prone to frizz and just look nasty. And I've been using my Revlon thingamabob one step volumizer a lot and it was burning my hair you know but I was like I just you know you want to have good hair days <laughs> and it's a safe way to do it but now diva girl I can do it heatless and it's actually my natural hair which I think is much nicer so diva girl gets an honorable mention I'm using the wavy hair starter kit and I think I'm going to do a video on like starting deeper curl for wavy hair because I'm still figuring things out obviously you can see my hair today is not not looking its best especially this side um but you just learn things throughout the whole process so let me know if you want to see anything like that and that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed seeing my favorites for this month uh as I said I love the good favorites video but yeah I'm getting ready I'll soon enough be leaving this place which is kind of weird my knee just cracked um but I'll soon enough be leaving here and it's kind of weird so yeah uh gonna be doing some crazy things maybe that's life I guess follow me on Instagram to keep up with the day-to-day -day of interning at the United Nations how weird is that um and that's it for me I'll see you in my next video